It's me, Mario and the gang. You probably know my name, and so we start the game. Jumping high, ducking low from the sky to the ocean. How? What's up, bro? This is Randix Arms, and we're really reacting to movie sequels by the ones out. Uh, the the one, the odd ones out. Um, because he he made this about an hour ago, but I was asleep, so I'm not gonna react to this. So that's why my eyes might be drowsy a little bit. Um, so yeah. Oh, so he makes cool animations and stuff, so, you know, this is a news video, so I'm not gonna react to it. So anyways, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Hit the, hit the bell, those getting five while I know though. Comment when we're gonna react to next, I'll see how it up. So anyways, let's get to the video, hold up. Let's just get to the video and turn up three two one we are back range we are back range and cheese uh, me Jaden, Dominic, Ross, and Aaron are all going on tour doing a show called Scribble Showdown we're going to these cities on these dates so if you want to see us okay. play some drawing games live then go to scribbleshowdown.com link in the description okay Please. okay enjoy the video now do you all remember that classic kids movie made in the 70s about a pig and a spider? Yeah, Charles, Charles Webb. Webb. Remember how it made us a lot of money? Wait, didn't yeah. we already have this conversation? Yeah, we did. But we're remaking this conversation with better graphics and Will Smith. Yeah. But why would we wow. remake something that's already good on its own when we could be making something totally original? Because, Ethan, we don't want to take risks. And this will make us more money. Hey, sure. Is it obvious to the audience that we're only doing these remakes for the money? For no, a cash grab? <laughs> yeah, I mean, people I already watched Toy Story 4, even though I, even though I asked, if, asked for it anyway. My favorite movies is a spin off. And I'm very excited for the remake of The Dark Crystal to come out. And if you think I'm going to make a video talking about it when it comes out, you are absolutely correct. So Disney is remaking a bunch of classical movies into live action. They did it with Tarzan, Alice in Wonderland, and they Aladdin, did it with One Dalmatians twice. The Lion King. And someone who enjoys cartoons a little too much. They're about a Mulan. I think it would be cool if they remade Treasure Planet or Atlantis into live action. Both of those movies are uh, okay. underrated and have a lot of high stake action packages that, that would be perfect for a reboot. The, and if those they movies reboot, were actually they awesome. A new generation of kids to these awesome movies. But that's just my For me, since I'm I watch sure old Disney cartoons, that, that's the only reason I know some of these old I movies. Speaking of Disney sequels, I bet some of you forgot the very old straight to VHS Disney. Aladdin too. I try to forget about them every day. You can have your Yeah, Disney actually make a lot of um bad sequels that went to DVDs, terrible. like Even Milan I two, because too, that was bad. Emo Lion was kinda hot. Um did I mean Lion King two was bad too. I know. Aladdin, Aladdin, um, two studio, was okay to me. Disney will finally break the bad sequel streak with Frozen two, or they should just Are you sure about let that? it go straight to VHS. <laughs> Some franchises like Harry Potter and the Rings that. have long overarching stories that are designed to have multiple installments. And as long as the studio doesn't stretch out one book into three movies, then those types of movies are absolutely fine. But I don't want to talk about those movies. Well, I never I watched Harry Potter actually, so never mind. Film. Now I believe that a sequel to a standalone film can be done, but it's a delicate process. Because in the first movie, you establish the characters and the world they live in, then the protagonist has to overcome a problem, usually defeating a villain, and then mm -hmm. the characters live happily ever after, and the story is all wrapped up nicely with a bow, and just, what a, what a nice story we got there. I'm just, I'm just gonna set it down and watch it from time to time and not change it one bit. But then a sequel comes then the and sequel. says, Oh, you thought the characters lived happily ever after? And then rips off the nice bow and says there's another more no, evil villain. There's another villain. The first movie for some reason. If a sequel turns out bad, it can devalue the original movie. There's a actually, some movies actually go then go to to, to shows, if I notice that. Mulan 2 or Hunchback 2 or Aladdin 2 or Cinderella 2 or Beauty and the Beast 2 or Tarzan 2. Because they didn't have it. Okay, Beauty and, so Be Beauty and the Beast um, 2 is actually is a bad movie because of the animation. Alright, every Disney dream. sequel that went to that went straight to DVD I actually had bad animation, characters. except for Aladdin right, and probably The Lion trilogy, King. But I'm just gonna say trickles. You see, DreamWorks has a track record of creating amazing sequels. That is true. But pretty subpar trickles. Here's what also I mean. bad sequels, now, like Shrek, like Shrek 3. In my opinion, these reviews are objectively correct facts. 
And also, I just want to say I know that these movies are kids' movies, but I like animated movies more than real ones. And I'm a cartoon character, so Shrek 1. Great movie, great characters, great message. Ten onion layers out of ten. Shrek two. Two. It was awesome. It's the only movie in history to be better than the original, and it created the best music video of all time. I need eleven heroes out of ten. Shrek, Shrek three. three. Trash. Mm. Trash. Nice. Okay, I know it Shrek might be all for, three. For, Shrek four. Even example. forever it was actually one, awesome. Perfect movie. Any movie with anthropomorphic animals is always a win in my book. I think we have a best-selling franchise on our panda pods. Kung Fu Panda 2, just as good as the original. That was good. How many sequels have an animated bird as a villain? Besides Stuart Little 2. So far, we got tens across the board, but then Kung Fu Panda 3 comes along and... I'm sorry, Jablinski, I just... I wasn't feeling this one. Which is why I was so... I mean, that was kind of good, though. Dragon 3. And let's just say the DreamWorks Treacle Paradox didn't break its dream. However, How to Change Dragons a series. Uh, it was one of the best, um... Um, best franchises works and that franchise is madagascar i remember loving this okay one two and three were all good enjoyed it because it made 193 million five hundred ninety five thousand five hundred and twenty one dollars so dreamworks made two more of these movies and created the thing that haunts my dreams now personally i think i'm hunky and stuff uh mother mother i haven't rewatched really them at all so five out of ten but there's another movie in this franchise a movie that shouldn't be as good as it is, and honestly, I'm a little with the Penguins movie. It might make the list of my top five favorite movies. I don't think enough people are talking about this movie, so I'm going to be the one who breaks the ice. That metaphor is relevant because we're talking about Penguins of Madagascar. Penguins okay, of Madagascar now that was good. Best movie that to me, that was good. Ever. To me, that was good. Happy Feet and Happy Feet Two, and it's a thousand times more realistic than March of the Penguins. There's a scene where the penguins fall off an airplane and go hopping from one airplane to another. Another. It's so entertaining. See, and that was a good movie. Camera shot. So I know I'm, I'm saying some of, movies, movies, some of these are good movies. In my opinion, some of these are good movies. Like Shrek 3 was actually bad. I actually like Kung Fu Panda, um, How You Train Your Dragon, and, Ma Madag and uh, Madagascar. I also like um, um, Penguins. That was good. That was a good movie. And I didn't think about that movie again until years later on Halloween night 2018. I was in a Discord call with some friends who were also spending their Halloween night behind a computer, and naturally we were discussing which Madagascar sequel was better. Some people actually liked the second one, which was surprising, and I said, well, no matter what you think of the sequels, at least we can all agree that Penguins of Madagascar is better than both of them, right? And everyone in the call was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> and instead of watching <laughs> the, the, they, they, heard that, they haven't heard that, that video. Oh, uh, movie. Together. Never heard of that movie, I believe. Okay, let's talk about another studio, Pixar. Pixar movies do a good job at appealing to a wide audience. See, they got Kids Toy like Story, Cars. All right, Cars was trash. Cars like two and three was trash. Okay. Pixar has made has Mon been a Inc. Um, franchise that was good. Oscar, however, is not one of those emotionally inducing movies. It doesn't teach a thought-provoking life lesson. It's an hour and a half of penguins fighting an octopus, and I love Octo it. Every morning when I watch Penguins of Madagascar, I feel like a kid again. I am jealous of the writing in this movie. Okay, there's one fart joke, but that's my only complaint. Okay. Now, do I think Penguins is better than all of these Pixar movies? No, okay. definitely not. A but good movie could have a fart really joke, alright? To me, it's, it's fun. When it clearly deserves a 10. I don't know if this video convinced you to watch Penguins of Madagascar, but if you're retroactively looking for the next summer blockbuster movie to watch, I would have watched it. I, recommendation. I've been watching it. To me, it was good. To me, <laughs> the wish. Um, Penguins is actually good. This video, I just wanted an excuse to talk about my favorite DreamWorks spinoff. So, in conclusion... I'm really excited for The Dark Crystal 2 coming out on Netflix. The show's being released on August 30th, which is coincidentally this channel's five-year anniversary. Wow. So don't expect me to work that day. All right. Okay, admittedly, this video went off the rails a tiny bit. I'm sorry. Hey, everyone. I feel like I always say this, but I know it's been a while. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of shows recently, like Scribble Showdown, which you might have heard of. I'm going on tour in early October, so click the link in the description for more information. I know it's summer when I post this video, but I don't post that often, so I probably won't get another chance to tell you that there's some back-to-school bundles in my merch store if you're one of those people that goes to school. Big thanks to everyone who worked on this video. I couldn't have done it without them. And a big thanks to you for watching yeah. me. Yeah, guys, um, a lot of channels are now saying
wearing um back to school merch. Even though even though it's it's not even August, yeah, September. Dislike the Lion King too. I'm sorry. I'm really tired and I want to get this video done, so I'm just going to wrap up the Zen card. And wear your seatbelt. I think there's those video. Um, see so yeah, for for me, um, I, Shrek Three was trash. Um, I did like um Shrek Forever even. Um, Kung Fu Panda. Um, I did like one, two, and three. Uh, let's see what else. Then he also talked about um penguins in Madagascar, which honestly, the show to me the show they had on Nickelodeon was awesome, and to me the movie was awesome too. Even though I had one fart joke or whatever. Um, then picture. I mean, they they keep the only reason like movie companies are making movie sequels is because they're running out of movie ideas. Like, like as soon as they're thinking of a movie, this uh, they they're thinking to themselves. All right, so we go with some original or some, or should we just make a sequel? Now, now making a sequel, now making an original movies hard if you think about it, because then you have to think of everything. So sometimes when they said, all right, right now we need we need a movie that'll actually give us money. They said, how about we just make a sequel of from another movie? So you know that's what Two Story Four did and. Looks like they're making more sequels later. But I mean, hey, at least they do have um, original movies now. Like Onward and stuff. So, so yeah, at least at least they're actually getting original movies out. Like Pixar is actually doing it. Disney, I'm not, I'm not really sure. And other movies, I'm not really sure. Oh, and Blue Sky um, Studios. Because they, they, they got um, Spies in the Skies coming out too. So yeah, at least a lot of companies are are thinking of original ideas, and some are, you know, making um, sequels that I mean, some people act, some people didn't, but whatever. So guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please hit that like button, and subscribe, and I don't know if you can see my was getting five out of the video. Comment on my reaction next time. So guys, let's get to it. So guys, that was the video. I'll see you later. Bye.